it's Laura and today I'm going to be making paintbrushes out of my own hair. <laughs> Recently I got a haircut, and I say recently like it wasn't two months ago, but you know, at this point time is not real, so it might as well have been yesterday. You know, I was thinking, it's 2019, we are all gonna be sustainable sisters, we love this planet, which means we're not gonna throw away a damn thing. We're all gonna be practical hoarders. <laughs> Instead of throwing away my hair, I'm going to make paintbrushes out of it, because you know, artists, we like to paint. We like to do that, we like to do the do, and a lot of the time the do is very expensive, so any way that you can try to subsidize that do, that's good. Keep in mind that the paintbrushes that I'm going to make are suited for watercolor because my, my hair is so thin. Hair is fine as hell, and by fine I mean not in damn my hair is sexy as hell, I mean fine as in it has glass bones and paper skin. Insert Spongebob reference. Please follow along if you need to make your own paintbrushes, you running out of your paintbrushes, you gotta get a haircut. I'm gonna stop talking now so that we can just get right into the hairbrush, hairbrush? So we can just get right into the paintbrush making process. Please follow along if you wanna make your own paintbrushes and let's go! Here we go! So, of course, the first thing that you need is some fresh hair right off your head. This is my beautiful hair that I am now just spraying with a water bottle. If your hair is just a massive clump like mine was and you weren't able to keep it like all nice and orderly like right after you just cut it, then it's gonna be really helpful if you spray it with a water bottle just so that it clumps a little bit more together and it's going to be easier for you to separate the hair into little chunks. Then you're gonna get some kind of surface that is nice and smooth and will allow you to peel glue off of it. Right now I am taking my chunks of hair and I'm laying it on top of this glass panel that I have. And you don't want to lay it on too thick, you're just gonna kind of like spread it out and make a nice line of hair. Next, I'm going to use some dishwasher safe Mod Podge, and no, I'm not going to be putting my brushes in the dishwasher, but I figured that since it's dishwasher safe Mod Podge, it'd make my paintbrushes a little bit more waterproof. And you're just going to paint on the ends. Next, to work on the actual stick. For the handles of the brush, I'm using some straws. And you want to use something that is hollow on the inside so that we can stick the bristles in later. But I only want it to be hollow at the very tip. So right now I'm going to be using some epoxy resin and I'm going to pour that into the straws so that it will harden. And I'm going to make sure that I leave the top part not covered with epoxy just so that I have a place where I can stick my bristles in later. Now I was a freaking idiot and <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna pour the epoxy in and everything will be fine. But you know, your girl forgot that straws are open on both ends. So when you pour the epoxy in, it just like went in and out right through the other hole. So I got some clay and I plugged the hole <laughs> so the epoxy would actually stay in the straw. So highly recommend that you do that if you're going to be using the straw technique. And after the epoxy hardened inside of these straws, I wanted to paint them because they look kind of ugly. So I'm using this copper spray paint and I'm just going to spray paint those straws. Next, you're going to peel off your hair clumps and you gotta be kind of like careful with this part just so that you can keep as much of the hair there as possible. Some of it won't peel up and that's okay. And you're going to roll it up. Depending on the kind of brush you want, I did folded if I wanted it to be more of a flat brush and I rolled it up if I wanted it to be a round brush. Next, I'm taking this clear nylon thread that and I'm just going to wrap it around the ends of the wefts of hair. Thank you. 
And then I wanted to make my paintbrushes actually be comfortable to hold, so I raided my elementary school supplies that I still have, why? And I grabbed some grippers, which are just like little rubber things that you put on pencils. And then I'm gonna use some Gorilla Glue, and I'm going to glue those grippers right on the straws. I chose to glue them where the straws had that bend in them, just so I could cover up the bend. Next, you can take your wefts of hair. You're gonna stick it into the end of the straw that doesn't have resin in it. Then you're gonna take some twine and wrap it around as many times as you'd like around where the weft of hair connects with the straw. Next, I just covered that area of twine on the paintbrush with some more of the waterproof Mod Podge so that I could have a little bit more protection and stability for my paintbrushes. And then after that, you're gonna have some really ugly ass paintbrushes. You can just get some scissors. If you have hair cutting scissors, that's great. The sharper the better, and you're just gonna give them a little haircut. And you can cut them to any shape that you want. And I chose to do more of a rounded brush, a flat brush, and an angled brush for my brushes. And that's about it. So I have my brushes here and I just drew some grapes. They're not very good grapes, but they'll be fine. And I'm now going to test out my brushes. So right away I'm noticing that the brushes that I made are pretty big and I knew that going in. But if I was going to make some more brushes, I would make some smaller ones just so that I would have a little bit more control over doing these tiny little areas. But it's not bad. It just kind of works like a regular paintbrush does. There's not a whole lot of control, and I think that might be because the paintbrushes are so big. I definitely use these brushes on larger pieces. I'm doing this on watercolor paper, I forgot to mention. So definitely okay for watercolor. It's not taking any of the bristles out, which is nice. I was half expecting it to just fall apart while I was using it. But overall, these are not- this is not a bad brush. I'm curious to see what this angled one will look like, so let's go ahead and try that out. So the angled one is actually really nice, almost like calligraphy. I think human hair might be better at making things more smooth. As you can see, especially with this wash, it's very smooth and this wasn't even wet before when I put the pigment on it. It was dry, and so for it to be able to be this smooth when it was dry before it had pigment on it, that's pretty cool because usually when I use watercolors, I'll have to wet it first and then put the pigment on if I want to do a very solid wash color. And I'm noticing the same thing with this brush. It also makes things very smooth, however the bristles are coming out. So I'd have to do like a longer study on this to see how long they last. I enjoyed this. I think that they worked pretty well for what they are. If I was going to do it again, I would definitely make some smaller brushes. However, I do think making some of the smaller ones might be harder, but I think they're perfectly good for watercolor, and I might even make a whole set sometime in the future. I don't know. Wow, okay, <laughs> so that was interesting. First of all, let me just say that I'm actually pretty impressed with how they came together. They don't look as, like, homemade as I thought they would. You know how homemade things are. They kind of look... You know, the sentiment is there, is what I'm saying. But they don't look as bad as they thought they would. They actually, like, I didn't have that many problems making them. I'm actually pretty impressed with how they came together. Also, my hair, a sister, a sister was loyal. She really held up for me. So thank you. Thank you, hair. Maybe I won't perm you next time so that you'll be healthy. <laughs> But that's all I have for this video. Please go make your own paintbrushes. I think that's really cool. I definitely would like to see any paintbrushes that you make with your own hair. Share with any of your art friends. Why did my voice just go up like that? Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed my creative endeavors. I kind of do this thing all the time. I just get really passionate about making something and then I, I do the thing. And it usually involves too much money. I'm satisfied this time with my paintbrushes and I hope that you found it entertaining as well. I'll see you with another video soon. Bye!